Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to get started in our SAS Advanced series. Um, and this I'm pretty much picking up right where we left off with the basics. However, we're going to get into some really interesting features of SAS in this series. Um, all sorts of really cool things. Um, some stuff that you might not think of, some stuff that you probably already thought of. Um, but today, we're going to be talking about a really cool use of of lists. So what SAS allows you to do is SAS allows uh, for the use of lists and to declare a list. Um, it's sort of just like declaring a variable. Um, you know, you do your dollar sign and then your list name. So we're gonna what we're going to do today. The end result is we're gonna take these uh, social links here, and we are going to uh, with only a couple lines of SAS output all of their background images um, generated from a list. So the only thing we really have different is we have uh, in our HTML document we just have an unordered list of uh, social links, it's clearing, um, and each of our anchor tags has a class of whatever that icon is going to be. Um, in our images folder we just have four icons, they're both uh, they're all 65 by 65 pixels, um, you know, uh, pretty basic. So, to get going, uh, first we're going to declare our list. And what our list, I guess, is going to be is going to be icons. So we're going to call it icons. And it's going to be colon, and then in parentheses, you're going to add the items to your list. So our list is going to have the four different social um, outputs. So we're going to do Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and RSS. So as, as we can see, uh, as saving that, um, SAS has said that's all right. So no problems there. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be basically doing a, uh, we're going to be using a command called each and we're going to go through each item in the list and output that item as the class name and use that list item for the background image as well. Um, so to get it started, actually I'm going to add um, in our anchor tag right up here, I'm going to add a, a width of 65 pixels and a height 65 pixels Okay, so that uh, gets it all ready for the icons. Okay, so to do the each statement, we're going to do at each, and we're going to say for each of this, and this is a, a new variable you're making here, social, so we're just going to call this for each social in the list icons, and then we're going to do a bracket, so to call each class, we're going to do dot for the class, and uh, next you do pound bracket, and then inside of the brackets you do your variable, so dollar sign social. So this is basically going through the list of icons, and uh, for every single one it's assigning it to social, and then here it's outputting as a class social, um, and then. Inside of social, just like CSS, we're going to declare um, the properties of this class. So here we're going to do just background, um, and this is going to be the same as normal, just like you would normally do. Um, quotes, da -da. and then in here again to call your list item, we do pound bracket dollar sign social bracket. And then, because this is just pulling in the name Facebook, our icon is Facebook or Twitter or whatever dot png. And then outside of here, we're going to do just a no repeat. Repeat. All right, so this should be good. And uh, so you can see, SAS gave us no errors. I'm going to go and refresh our page. And as you can see, our icons all showed up. And let's do a text indent.
All right, with the refresh, you can see all of our icons showed up. This is really great because um, it's going through this list. If you ever had more um, more icons, you know, instead of having to write a bunch more lines of CSS, you could just add it, you know, comma whatever your other one is here, in in your CSS or in your SAS, and it takes no time. Let's actually take a look at the CSS to see what it's outputting because it is pretty cool. Um, let's scroll down here. And so, yeah, it's pretty much doing this work for us. Twitter, background is, Twitter, PNG, Facebook, PNG, whatever. Perfect, just how you would write it. Uh, cool. So that's it for uh, the first lesson in the SAS Advanced working with lists to do this uh, each statement. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Leave a comment, send us an email. Um, just hit us up any way you can. Uh, feel free to subscribe. We're going to be doing lots more videos. There's some really cool stuff coming up. Thanks for watching.